Hey yo, it's Manly here. So the other day I saw hoverboards at Walmart for around $100 and I was like, wow, that's a really good deal considering that I paid over 200 for mine over two years ago. So I actually am getting out my old hoverboard and I'm about to charge it and see if it's worth buying in 2019. All right, so I'm putting that on the charger. While that's charging, let me just show you how rough and beat this thing is. I use this thing hard. And like I said, like for $100, that is insanely cheap like i didn't realize how cheap they were now and i kind of want to get a new one but let's let this charge and then test it out and i'll review it and go from there okay so i'm walking out to the road to review this we're gonna test it out on the road grass and rocks so basically we're gonna review to see if it's good on anything that's not flat like we'll try and go up hills with it and this and that so depending on where you live to see if it's worth buying because if you live in town it's definitely worth it but if you don't have anywhere to ride it if you don't have sidewalks or anywhere i feel like it's not a good option if it doesn't work in the grass they do have off-road ones but those ones are more costly and the ones that are around 100 are the ones like i'm riding right now so let's test okay, it out so i'm currently on the road and it goes decently fast when you get up to speed it starts to beep like this but yeah it's really smooth it works really well and we'll slow down safety reasons so yeah the road i do like now if you do have a good flat surface to ride it on i do recommend this for 100 so far and we're actually going to test it on hills right now this thing gets so fast holy crap okay, so going down hills is very easy to control actually now we're gonna try and go up it's a slight hill. And wow, it actually picks up very well. I'm not well. gonna lie, going up that small hill was actually very easy and I'm actually very surprised about it. Now for the rocks. Okay, so if you have a rocky surface like this at your house, I don't recommend purchasing one of these because look how out of control and crazy this gets. It's actually scary and quite dangerous. So for this third and final test, I am currently riding on the grass. So far, so good actually. It's not oh, too bad. So if you have like a groundhog hole or something, that seems to trip you up. But look how smooth it is right now. It's actually surprising. I am, however, going downhill. Uh, and yeah, I just hit a little slope. As you can see, it does not want to go. It is very slow. And it's starting to pick up speed, but it's quite difficult. All right, so basically, let's go take it back on the road. And if you are looking to invest in one of these, it is a good price now in 2019. I do highly recommend buying it, but only if you have a place to ride. If you want to ride it in the grass and have a flat yard, I still recommend buying it. But as you could see, that slight hill, it wasn't working out very well. And if you have like rocks like this, a driveway like that to ride it in, I don't recommend buying it. You'll probably get hurt. And yeah, let's take it on the road for one last drive. One last drive on the road before I end the video. See how fast this thing goes. Wow, we are picking up speed. Crap. Yeah, you could hear how it beeped. When it starts to beep, that's because you're going too fast and it starts to get out of control. If you're in the limit where it doesn't beep, it is perfectly fine, but I was just testing my limits. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Look how fun this is. So yeah, I haven't rode this in probably over a year, and I'm so glad that I decided to do this video. I'm so glad that I stopped by Walmart and saw these for a hundred bucks. And yes, the final answer is I highly recommend it. You guys should go out and purchase one of these if you have a place to ride. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned, I post every other day. Peace.